Hi, sewing friends. This is a sewing compilation of just a bunch of sewing projects that I'm doing. Right now, I'm working on another car seat cover for my shop, and I'm using the rolled hem foot. You will also see me in this video sew up a simplicity pattern. I'm going to work on a new look pattern. I've got a few dresses for my daughter. These are wonderful if you have a baby shower coming up. I have the PDF pattern available in my Etsy shop, and I'll put a link in the descriptions tab below. And for right now, if you are new to my channel, I do several pattern reviews. I'm always sewing something pretty. Okay, while I still have the rolled hem foot on my sewing machine, I'm just going to finish up the edges on this shirt that I'm making. It's a new look pattern. I'll share with that. I'll share with you that here in a minute. This is a wrinkled crepe fabric so it really is ideal to finish the raw edges with the rolled hem foot and I do have a video available if you've never used the rolled hem foot but look at how fast and easy it is just to have that go through the sewing machine and I will um, insert a picture right here as well so you can see a close-up of how the hems look Hi guys, we just got back from a walk. So we got um, outdoor hair. Okay, I'm gonna be sewing, like sewing a ton because we're going on a trip and so I have to sew this dress that I'm making for Rose. I also have to finish sewing this shirt that I'm making for Rose. I also have a couple of other outfits that I'm making for me and we got to get this done in the next few days because we're going to be going on a vacation soon. So enough talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's Mexico film in Mexico. So you'll maybe see us in Mexico. So we're going to just start sewing and just lots of sewing and we're going to stop talking. Oh, uh, heck, she's not. which means I've already gathered it with my serger. So I have pinned this to the bodice and I'm gonna just start sewing it. Okay, so I've met it around to the front again, and now I'm going to cut it because that's the size that I need for my skirt. So I'm gonna cut it, sew it, and then finish attaching this area. Okay, so I stitched it right there and secured the stitches. Now I'm going to cut this down and then sew that down and then finish sewing it around. So you might think, oh, Delilah, why do you do it like that? I feel like it is so much faster. And then after I do that, I'm gonna serge this area and then you'll be able to see it. 
<laughs> oh, and make sure you subscribe. Goodbye. Okay, I've got the skirt sewn onto the bodice. I'm gonna show you a little bit what it is looking like. This is a little Lizard King pattern. I love the beautiful ruffles right there. And it's just a great fitted pattern. I'll try to insert a picture of her wearing it at the end. And now I'm going to use my rolled hem foot again, and I'm just going to finish the bottom hem. This is so nice to do with uh, cotton fabric. So this dress is a cotton poplin fabric that I purchased from fabric.com, which I'm so sad that they are no longer in business because I've had so many beautiful fabrics come from that website. Now I have some tiny straps that I need to finish. So I'm gonna use this edge foot. I don't know if you guys are familiar with it. I do have a video of my favorite feet. It gets right there to the edge of the fabric. Um, yeah, to the edge of the fabric. And it's really nice. It just looks really professional. It gives you it a really professional finish.
Okay, so I gotta talk to you guys for a minute. It's early, my hair is wacky. Cause I had to take a break from this um, shirt that I'm working on because it's like, let me move in a little bit closer. It, I hit rock bottom, okay, sewing rock bottom. I think there's a big difference. Um, it's just, this is why I always pick simple patterns. This one is New Look 6732. It's got quite a few different pieces on it. And what I'm stuck on is the ruffle part, but I'm gonna move on and just start working on attaching the bottom ruffles. And I, at this point, I just wanna throw it out. But it's, it's really pretty that I'm gonna try to make the ruffles work around the arm. So stick with me. Um, also, you know, if you followed my channel for a little bit, I do love color blocking. This, for example, was such an easy shirt to make. I hate fussing around with patterns that have so many pieces on them. It, to me, is just not worth it. But I thought that would be something new that I would do in 2023 is like work on more uh, patterns that have, you know, more pieces. Oh, uh, heck, she's not. No, no, I, it's not worth it. So anyways, I'm going to stop talking for a minute because this shirt has really put me behind. I'm going to try to finish it up. Um, and then I have to work on, um, a MacBook iPad cover. So that one I'm going to be sewing up next. So stick with me. Let's just... I'm just gonna keep going on this. And right now I'm just gonna be working on the bottom ruffle. I've just moved on from that dumb armhole thing.
Okay, I've got my quilting foot on and my walking foot is attached to my sewing machine. And now I'm going to be doing a bit of some quilting. And this is my favorite kind of quilting on small little projects like this. And this is my MacBook cover. You can see that I attached a little bit of cork to it. That's kind of a new thing that I'm doing as well. Okay, I'm going to bring the camera in a little bit closer so you can see every time I sew a row, I move the needle all the way to the left and then I sew the next row and I move the needle all the way to the right. I like to use these hair ties. I think they work in a lot of different projects, but this is going to be the closure for my eye for my MacBook cover. I'm really enjoying making this MacBook cover. Let me know if you would like to see this as a tutorial on my channel. Okay, look at this. I am loving it. It's got my MacBook inside and uh, I'm no longer on rock bottom or the bottom of the rock. This is so cute. I just need to attach this button right here and then it will flip over like that and close. I told you that I would have some finished projects by the end of this video. 
Okay, so right now I'm going to attach some pictures. So enjoy those pictures of some of my finished projects. Thank you so much for watching and spending time with me and until next time happy sewing bye guys